Hello everybody, welcome to Technique Tuesday. Although I must admit this is not so much of a technique as a promotion. On June 1st, from the 1st to the 30th, for every Stampin' Up! kit that you buy, you can get another one for 50% off. And who doesn't like a BOGO? They are available at stampinup.com backslash kits. And if you would pick me as your demonstrator when you order, and use this hostess code i would be very grateful for that so these are the cards that come in the kit that i'm going to be showing you today it is the notes of cheer card kit comes in a cute little box everything everything that you need i know i joke with the paper pumpkin it has everything but scissors but in this instance you don't even need scissors so without further ado let me just move my camera a little bit of thing out the way Let's get started and I can show you just how quick and how easy and how much fun these little card kits are. So a bit of technical difficulty to start with. So each card comes, comes with an envelope. These are the three designs and you get three of each card. So you're going to get nine cards in the box of this particular kit. So let me show you how we get about doing that. So the first card is a rainbow base all pre-stamped and pre-coloured for you so i'm just going to give it a crease with my bone folder because it's what i do and this is how it would overlay and it, in each box there comes a set of coloured instructions it shows you the cards to make it actually shows you what ingredients you need to set aside for each card and then it gives you full colour instructions for each card and it's multilingual so a bit like the IKEA catalogue there are no words there are just pictures but we're very good at following pictures I guess so first card rainbow base and the top that goes on it so you flip it over and the instructions say to put dimensional dimensionals are big white circles and glue dots are little black dots so the dimensionals come in the kit i know you've heard me laugh at myself before about how many dimensionals we get for free it is just absolutely fabulous who doesn't like free so who doesn't like bogo me i love it i can't believe we're going to get all these fabulous things oh good okay so that's it you put the dimensionals on and you stick it down that's the first instruction second instruction there's a little green greeting and it says you're on my mind and in my heart like i said they're multi-languages so we'll just take the english one because i am and then the die cut dots didn't all come out so i'm just actually going to poke those out just because then you get the full effect of the laziness and scrunch them out at the back and then according to the handy according to the handy dandy instructions you put two dimensionals on the back so let's do just that and then remove the backing paper and stick it on and then comes my favorite part the kit comes with a whole sheet of these unbelievable i don't think you can see how fabulous they are in they're just iridescent and blues and pinks and oh i love them okay and then the picture says go ahead and stick five of these on your card so I will follow along where they've suggested you put them but of course this is art and you can put them where you want you can put as many as you want they definitely give you more than you need so if you wanted to go mad on one of the cards and bling it out you must certainly have enough to do that with so there you go that's the card quick and easy so I'll pop that off to one side for now and then we'll turn over and we'll move on to the second card, which is even easier. So it's die cut and it's printed. So you basically fold it in half and then you take the 
pink greeting which comes on the strip you make life brighter and other such foreign sentiments that I'm sure are equally as lovely. You'll notice that it's four dimensionals, but they don't go all the way to the edge, which I'm guessing is so that you don't overhang the edges. Woo! Stuck two together. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm not going to wrestle that. Stick four on. Take off four backing papers, she said, flinging them off to one side. And then we'll just go ahead and stick that on. And then back to my favourite part where we get to stick the rhinestones on. It shows on this one that there's five. I'm not sure I can see all five, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I'll stick on as many. Oops. Sometimes it takes longer to stick the rhinestones on than it does to do the rest of the card. But as it's the prettiest step, who cares? So there we go. There is the second card made. Pop that off to one side and onward to the third one. So you get a plain white card base. So we'll just fold that in half. Give it a crisp edge, which is just something that I like to do. And then black dots. So we're going to stick glue dots onto the back and conveniently the four corners have an area just big enough. So as of course you'll see, I'm using my stylus to put these on, but you don't have to. You can just do it with your fingers, peel them off with your thumbnail. You can use the sharp pointy edge of your scissors, whichever works best for you. And just to show that it is doable. I will go ahead and peel the backing off by hand. But like I say, absolutely everything you need comes in this kit. So we're just gonna go ahead and stick it down in the middle. And then we need a blue greeting, which says a little note of cheer. Again, sticking with the English theme because I am. And it's got one, two, three dimensionals shown on the back. So we'll quickly pop those on. Two, three, two. And then there's a little yellow, peachy yellow greeting. And you'll notice all the colours of all the greetings match the colors of the rainbow. So this one says, I am here for you today and always. So we'll pop that quickly out. It's showing three glue dots. So I will pop those on real quickly. I mean, if you have a different kind of adhesive you wanted to use, you absolutely can go ahead and use whatever you are most comfortable with but they do provide everything in the kit so that just tucks underneath and then last but not least a bit of bling so let's stick some prettiness there is one down here Oops. Ah, come on, you little bugger. There's a little wee one there. Whoops. One there. And one up at the top. Don't worry about those. I will, of course, separate them and use them. I just don't need you to watch me struggle to do that in the video. So, there we go. There's the third and final card so going back to the front oops, where they showed you how to make them there is the pink butterfly 
There is the blue one with the note of cheer and the green one with the rainbow butterfly. So they all match what the kit shows you how to make. I am going to be ordering myself a slew of these because I'm so excited that they're BOGO. So check back often and I will have more sets to tempt you with and hopefully have some alternative ideas of things that you can do with the insides of the envelopes. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching.